Presenting Word Vibes, Bread for the Nation. An inspirational series filled with God's eternal plan, purpose, and perspective on life. Great for devotionals, sermons, sermon outlines, Bible studies, spiritual edification, and much more. You may order your hard copy at a cost of 1400 Jamaican dollars. Call 876-869-3311 or email us at passionandpurityja at gmail.com. Go digital. You may also purchase soft copies from our Amazon store. Just type Passion and Purity Jamaica in the Amazon search bar. Scroll down. Awesome! Get access to the Kindle edition at a cost of only 15 US dollars. God inspired reading is super fun. Be inspired, edified, transformed, and blessed. Hey ladies, guess what? You can now get Passion Imperative's ebook, Healing.
Hallelujah. Bless you. We're not going to stop. Come on. We're going to say, Lord, you are good. And your mercy endure forever. Come forward. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Come on, let's sing. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
that God is going to move today. Hallelujah. We believe. We believe. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say, I believe. Turn to the one behind you and say, I believe. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Woo! Come on, let me see you move your feet.
of the Lord. Come on, say hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. I want to hear you give the Lord a praise. Say hallelujah. Say, Lord, you're good. Your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say special welcome to everyone. And coming to us right now are the presidents of Passion and Purity, Mr. Andrew and Mrs. Donnett Norman. They're going to bring you greetings, but put a round of applause, a resounding round of applause for them as they come. Bless the name of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Put your hands together and give Jesus a praise. Hallelujah. Yes, we are here to just greet you and officially open up well we have opened up the worship the worship the worship and the praise was just so awesome come on put your hands together and give jesus a praise and yes we expect to have a wonderful time today and we know we see the buses rolling in and we just give god thanks for all of you who are here and we just say to god be the glory Yeah. How are we today? Woo. Anybody here? Anybody home? <laughs> all right, all right. When I say Jesus, I want you to say, yeah, yeah, Jesus. All right, all right. We have some people in the house. I'm telling you, the love of God is coming in. And when it comes in, you're going to have to say bye-bye to the other things that God don't want inside of you. Come on, somebody. The hurt and the pain and the disappointment and the COVID-19, whatever, whatever, whatever. Glory to God. We are saying bye-bye to those things. And we are getting filled with the new season. We are reigniting the love of God. And that is what is happening inside of us. Something bigger is happening inside of us that even is happening inside of this huge auditorium something bigger is happening in our spirits and we are believing to see it swell and we are believing to see it impact every single school in this nation if you believe it clap your hands and give God a praise in here amen amen All so right. we want to say welcome to the father welcome to the son welcome to the holy spirit and welcome to everyone who will be here now today, I want for you to keep sharing because we are, we, are, we are face to face and we are online and we want you to tell your friends about what is happening at Merle Grove today. We have an exciting package lined up for you and we know that God is going to get the glory and that he's going to get the praise. So lift up your hands to the Lord. Everyone lift up your hands to the Lord. We want to thank God for our host principal, Mrs. Ricketts, and all the other principals and teachers and students who will be here today. Say, Lord, Lord, have your way. Have your way. We experience again, we experience again your love. Your love. Light us up with your love, Lord. Light us up with your love, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Thank you. Put your hands together again and give God a praise.
God of love, we come before you with joyful anticipation and with hearts beating to the pulsating rhythm of who you are. Yes, you are love. Our hearts open wide to embrace this moment, celebrating the warmth of your glowing heart that is forever ignited with a passion for us that is more precious than all the gold, diamonds, and rubies this world has to offer. Lord, we gaze on you, the only one who have always and will forever own the spotlight. And with every authentic gaze, you will rekindle, yes, you will reignite every heart open to receive your love that flows like a ceaseless stream. And as love is reignited in hearts, the rays will shine to echo the joy that yes, you, and you, and you, you are invited to come and dive in a love that will forever cause our hearts to be delighted in the one who is love. God, you are love. School for girls. Let's make her welcome as she reads Mrs. Ricketts profile. Good day everyone. This is profile for Mrs. Zarita Ricketts. Loyal, optimistic, real, relevant, exciting, yeah. talented, yeah. thoughtful, ambitious, Loretta. Yes, these are just a few authentic words used to describe Mrs. Loretta Ricketts. A woman focused on excellence and lives by the scripture in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work nor device nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave with their thou goest. This scripture is her philosophy, which drives her passion for many things, including the holistic education of children. Mrs. Loretta Ricketts is the principal of Merle Grove High School. Her journey in the field of education is an interesting experience that continues to expand into unique dimensions of growth. Her experience in the private sector as an accountant provided a rich adage to her career development. However, her passion for teaching won her focus and pursuits. Trained at the College of Arts, Science and Technology, 
and the University of Technology. She has obtained a diploma in business education, a Bachelor of Science in Administrative Management, and an Executive Master's Degree in Educational Leadership and Management. Mrs. Ricketts is a flexible administrator whose effectiveness in leadership is displayed in her servant leadership approach and her excellent in interpersonal organization and communicative skill. She serves in her community and wherever her gifts and talents are needed. As a dedicated mother of two lovely children, she enjoys and has a passion for the care and development of youth and children and is dedicated to the promotion of sound values and attitude among them. She maintains her youthful exuberance in many ways, including delving into her interests, which include the different art platforms such as singing, praise and worship in particular, listening to music and more. She participates in national programs which aim to edify, entertain and encourage the development of sound values and Christian principles in children and youth. Mrs. Ricketts has served in youth ministry, women's ministry, outreach, choir, and worship teams. She is committed to her walk with Christ and is always enthusiastic to learn and undertake new challenges. As the principal of Merle Grove High School, since September 2021, Mrs. Ricketts is committed to lead by example while challenging all stakeholders to embrace excellence. She sees the school as a platform to promote sound principles, educate and encourage students to utilize and enhance their natural talents, skills and abilities. Everyone, with a resounding round of applause, please make welcome Mrs. Loretta Ricketts. Yes, the world.
Hallelujah. Welcome to Merle Grove High School. Merle Grove students, give them a round of applause and a Merle Grove welcome. It is indeed our privilege and we consider it an honor to be chosen to host the Passion and Purity Girls Conference. This gathering is timely at such a very critical juncture when we as a society must relearn how to operate and interact from a place of love. As we emerge from the shadow of a pandemic which has held us captive for the better of two years, it is important to note that many of our youth have suffered from psychological distress and social isolation. As a nation, we now need to relearn the true meaning of love, how to show love and how love ought to be received. Love by definition, according to the Oxford Dictionary, is an intense feeling of deep affection arising out of kingship or personal ties. 1 Corinthians 13 and verses 14 through 8 outlines what love explains, what it means to truly love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or disrespectful. It is not resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. God is love. And our Father has offered us an example of the purest form of love. As his only son, Jesus Christ, was crucified to save us from all our sins. So love is a noun and it is also a verb because God is love therefore if we seek to truly love the Lord and love ourselves and love completely engages a connection with our father and this connection enables us to find our purpose in life it ignites a passion for living and brings true meaning of our daily lives. The call to reignite the love requires our immediate attention and action. This conference will charge us all to reignite the love for worship, the love for learning, sisterly and brotherly love, and the passion in each of us to first cultivate and then pass on the love of God. May the favor of the Lord be upon us all. May the Lord God reign over this, this conference. May the Holy Spirit have his own way. Welcome, welcome. We will experience the exceeding, abundant love of Jesus Christ. God bless you all.
of God. Can we just give God praise for his excess love? Can we just give God praise for his excess love? Hallelujah. I too am a beneficiary of the excess love of God. A love that is unconditional. A love that is unlike man's love that says, I love you if, I love you but, I love you when, but no conditions apply with the love of our God. Hallelujah. You don't have to do anything to earn it. You don't have to compromise to get it. Him just love you full stop. Him just love you full stop. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you for your excess love, Lord. Hallelujah. And of course, the presentation was by the Merle Grove High School Choir. Can we just give God some praise for them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So at this time, we want to welcome back on stage Mrs. Ricketts. And we also invite Shari Palmer, who will make a presentation to Mrs. Ricketts and do the vote of thanks. Kids, on behalf of Fashion and Purity, we just want to tell you thank you for that wonderful, impactful presentation, just reminding us about the love of God and that beautiful rendition. And this is a token of our appreciation. We just wanted to accept it and we do hope that you will enjoy. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. So, because the house full of young people, and we know it's about the, and the, and the, right? So, we want you to take those selfies. We want you to subscribe to our pages, and we will share those with you momentarily. But take those selfies. Hashtag Girls Conference Fashion and Purity. Let the persons who are not here as yet see what they're missing. All right, so let us blast it out there so the persons who are not here as yet can run, come join, or go on here, so right?